Baseball players aren't used to watching clocks, but that changes this season. Major League ballparks have installed timers for the commercial breaks between innings. They require players to resume the game as soon as those clocks hit zero. It's one of the small steps the league is taking to speed up the pace of play after average game times hit a record high in 2014. Three hours and eight minutes. It would be one thing if those three hour games were action packed, but actually both hits and runs per game are down in recent years. So what's going on? It's like watching Lord of the Rings, like, <laughs> 160 times in six months or something. Every night you've got Lawrence of Arabia. This is Grant. He watches baseball sometimes. About 200 baseball games a year. He says there's no one thing slowing down the pace of play, but part of it is that some of the players are just kind of dawdling. The time between pitches has gone up. Last season, pitchers took an average of 23 seconds between pitches. There's actually a rule on the books that the pitcher has to throw the ball within 12 seconds if the bases are unoccupied, but it hasn't been enforced. Just limiting pitchers to 20 seconds would cut around 15 minutes of game time. The off-season league started testing a pitch clock last year, 20 seconds without a pitch, and the umpire calls an automatic ball. That's something that may be coming to the majors next. If they already have the clocks in place for between innings, I don't think they're going to be uh, too delicate with the idea of a pitch clock. It's not just pitchers that set the pace, though. Batters have their own bad habits. This year, they can be fined $500 if they don't keep one foot in the batter's box between pitches. But there's a pretty long list of exceptions. Still, some players are not happy about this. I call that bullshit. <laughs> Batters are already at a disadvantage in this era of hard-throwing pitchers and stricter drug testing. It can be a strategic move to be able to slow things down. When you force a hitter to do that, 70% you are out because you don't have no time to think. But baseball purists say if you go back and watch classic games before Velcro gloves, before players came on the field with a soundtrack, there was a lot less fiddling going on at the plate. Some other factors are a bit harder to tackle. There's been a shift in how teams deploy their pitchers, and it has to do with something called a loogie. A lefty, one-out guy. It's a pitcher brought in just to face a left-handed batter, and it's one of the ways that the bullpen has become more specialized, which means more pitchers are playing in each game than before. You've got the loogie, maybe two loogies, seventh inning guy, eighth inning guy, maybe a couple of eighth inning guys, and then ninth inning guy. More relief pitchers mean more game delays and more commercial breaks, but it's working for the teams, so this trend is probably here to stay. The new instant replay process may have also helped slow down the games last year. In theory, reviewing calls should eliminate arguments on the field, but it ended up that managers were stalling while their bench coach tried to decide whether to use the challenge. New rules this year should keep the managers in the dugout during challenges. The league hopes that by cutting out some of this dead time in the game, they'll make baseball more palatable for young people whose attention spans can't survive the 23 seconds between pitches. Baseball knows that it has the uh, oldest demographic of the four major North American sports, and it's not particularly close. But here's the thing, football games are actually longer than baseball games, with more dead time and more commercials. And the kids love football. But it doesn't hurt to try. And there's one way that baseball could become more relevant rather than less in this era of constant digital noise. I think baseball can survive as something of an oasis around that, where people come and say, we need at least one leisurely sport that we can go to and just relax. And if we miss an inning, you know, we're not going to feel bad. We're going to go to the park and sit in the sun for the whole express purpose of a leisurely game with punctuated bursts of excitement.